All right, Frank Baltier is here with Rolling Burritos. Now we get to the fun part. We're gonna start running our wiring. We're gonna actually use this one, which is called the 14-3. Uh, this handles up to 15 amps since it is a 14 gauge wire. And what I did with my other trailer, which is Rolling Burritos, this is the empty trailer that we're converting into a food truck. And then we're gonna end up selling it. But uh, we're gonna duplicate what Rolling Burritos have. We use this saw right here. We're gonna cut a little line right here which is gonna come to this piece right here. We're gonna end up taking this off because this turns on this cool little light up there. So I'm gonna put that switch probably like right up here somewhere. We're gonna run this, that way the wire comes out right there and then we're able to put some outlets and then we're gonna run all that wiring throughout. Let's see how much I can catch on video here for you guys. But for now, we're gonna use this saw, which is a Milwaukee and cut a little trench right there that way we run the wire right through this hole and then we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys what we do there it's a cool little trick that uh, actually works really well but for now let's get rocking and rolling on this wiring So now we're going to take our 14-3 wiring and the reason I like to use this is because it helps you for future if you ever want to expand and maybe add a different circuit it gives you where is it at it gives you an extra wire in there so one you can use as your power being the black wire and then you got your neutral your ground and then you have an extra one there in case you want to use it. You want to tangle it like this. fish it down in here and then there it is you guys can see it like right in here that's why this little crevice is so important in this uh on this project boom you're able to pull it out right there so then it's going to give you for your four outlets we're going to put a double outlet right here and then this wiring we're going to run it right on top of the roof and then we're going to stop at the light in the middle and then take it into the breaker panel. So that's gonna be what we call a home run. So let's get that set up now. But for now, that's how you do it right here. You cut this hole right up top, just a small little notch, and then you bring it down in here, and then you're able to fish the wire right through, and then you have all your wires that you need there, which is your power, which is your black, and then you might have an extra one which is your red, because I'm not putting switches on this side. I did that to my first trailer. I'm not gonna do it to this one. Then you have your ground, and then the white one, which is your neutral. That's what gives you, that's what gives you 120 volts. I don't use 240. Uh, everything is on um, propane, and it's 120. That's all I do. Uh, it keeps it simple. The generator keeps it simpler to use, and no 220 in this trailer, and not even the one that I have. <laughs> 